Rivers, it's Bonnie, and I'm here today with celebrity stylist Philip Locke. He's a famed celebrity stylist, and you know him. He's come in. We've talked about the Emmys. We've talked about MTV Awards and, and what everyone wears. Now, every week, we're going to talk about who is best and worst dressed of the week. Ooh, and there's quite a few of the worst <laughs> There are some doozies. Woo! But let's start with our favorites. Philip, who rocked your socks off this week? That Oscar de la Renta day glow pink dress on Allison Williams. Hot, hot, hot. He knows how to take a young girl and make her look like a lady, but still have her be young and sexy. I agree. I was blown away by how, how good she looked, and I was shocked. I didn't realize that that would be an Oscar de la Renta. I mean, it was neon pink skirt yeah. right up to there, and neon and pink the belt. lace top. But you know what that means? She's stepping up her star style. If she's getting an Oscar de la Renta dress, she's got a good That's stylist. That's right. What a, it's a, quite a change from girls, her, her HBO yeah. show. Now, let's talk about Kristen Stewart. I thought she looked fabulous in her Balenciaga yellow jacket or casual tank, the flowered pants. She really has got kind of a rebellious but cool couture style. Absolutely, and she really feels like she's conquering her own style, and she doesn't love the fashion, but she's really kind of embracing it, and it's her now. It yeah. really looks like it belongs on her, she, even she, when it's a little off. Yeah, <laughs> she doesn't look like it's wearing her. She's wearing yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, like the hot pants. The oh, hot that pants was so the cute. Top. Yeah. It was cute, it worked on her. Normally on someone else, I'd go, Really? Did you just get that from the Hamburglar? <laughs> but on her, it looks cute and it's sexy. Well, you know what it is? I think she's 22 years old. She's, listen, she's skinny. Yeah. But, but she's not over the top. You know, yep. there's no implants. There's no big hair. She's not giving you the Leah Michelle pose. Yeah, she can just, so she can carry off a lot of things because she's kind of casual about yep. it. Heidi Klum. Oh. That was the best revenge dress I've ever. seen in a long time. Ever, ever, ever. And she went to the Emmys in that beautiful sea foam Slit blue. up to here. Yes. <laughs> it was right. a little of Beyonce's costume for, for, you know, on parade on the show. But, but that's okay. But it was hot. Seal is kicking himself that's right now. That's right. Like, Seal, you're going to accuse me of cheating. Well, I didn't. And furthermore, <laughs> I am going to look so fantastic, you're going to eat your heart out. And I'm going to fornicate with anyone I want in this dress. <laughs> Even the help. <laughs> exactly. Didn't you think Taylor Swift in her I Love Heart Aww. lacy dress looked fabulous? I heart Taylor Swift, even though she hearts the Kennedys, but I heart yeah. her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the Kennedys, any female Kennedy, has ever worn a knockout red lace dress like that. Hmm, Jackie O, have you? Not nope. red lace. Not no, red Jackie lace, no. Nope. So it was beautiful, demure. but very demure. This well, was like Taylor's pow. Taylor's kind of popping a little too. Yeah. She's, she's getting better, she's getting better. It wasn't sparkly and long. We have got to talk about Jesse J. Oh my God. And Rihanna. Who said pajamas are in style unless you're in bed? I mean, <laughs> well, this Rihanna is crazy. seems to think you can go anywhere in pajamas, especially to Jay Z party at the Barclays. I was there last night. I saw her. We spoke for a few minutes, and she's a lovely girl. She's so sweet. She just seems a little lost in her fashion choices and her man choices. Yes. Like whoever's making her choices needs to sit down with her and have a better talk because. It's not working. Philip, you could help her in both areas. I and Jesse J. And I could help yes. her with the men and the and yes. the pajamas because the pajamas gotta go. She looks so thin too. She looks really thin. But the, oh, Rihanna the haircut so, so is thin. cute though. Yeah, really, really thin. But Jesse J. does not look thin in those pajamas. Plaid, no plaid jumpsuit with uh, running shoes. It was just bad on I mean, every okay. level, even for Britain. Yeah, I was just thinking, it takes me back to like those kind of Carnaby Street days oh. in the 60s. You, I mean, most of you Hollywood lifers wouldn't even remember those days. Thank I mean, God. Doesn't she look like she belonged in Cirque du Soleil? Uh, yeah, if it was Velcro <laughs> and she could rip it off and there was something sparkly and sexy Velcro underneath. Or if it was Velcro and she yeah. was attached to high wire. Oh my God, it, just was, it was crazy looking. It was really kind of like, was it a radio show? Did she just stumble out of bed? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, or did she just get out of an insane asylum? <laughs> Maybe she's accused of a crime and she's wearing that to prove she's insane. Right. She's saying, I don't, I'm don't. i bringing my plaid jumpsuit to prison. I don't need the orange one. Exactly. I am mentally incompetent <laughs> okay. of choosing an outfit. Okay. Well, Philip, on that note, um, since you're talking about put, putting celebrities into fashion prison, mm. I think uh, we will say goodbye to our Hollywood lifers for the week. Did you like any of them? Tell I mean, us. Come on. What's the your? The pajamas. What's your favorite? Did you get knocked out by Allison? <laughs> by Allison good. Williams? That I would wear good. that dress. Maybe I'll wear it next week. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Well, Oscar? Well, yeah. Hello, Oscar. Get Oscar on the phone. <laughs> okay, bye.